Hello there, I'm Richard Lund. I'm 68 years young, and I am a grandpa. I also do some other work at certain times of the year. You imagine with my beard and my white hair. Ho, 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 you know. Anyway, so I am in Panorama City, California, and um, I've lived here a long time. I am a long time married guy. Uh, this summer, we're going to celebrate our 49th wedding anniversary. <laughs> so it's, it's a good deal. I got four kids, nine grandkids, and uh, I'm a happy camper. Now, we're taking on a challenge for me, which, you know, you got to think back. My grandma Thunstead, that was my mother's mother, <laughs> she could bake up a storm. She knew how to do everything in the kitchen. I think she even uh, cooked at a school, you know, so she knew how to do stuff. Unfortunately, I never learned how to cook her rye bread or any of the things that she know how to do. But what I do know how to do is eat. And, um, but that's not what we're here to do today. It's baking, baking number one. So I decided I would do a pie. And there, you know, so, you know the old time it was Betty Crocker. When I was a kid, that was what my mom had a Betty Crocker cookbook. I looked up online to find a Betty Crocker recipe and I found one. I hope you don't mind me mentioning Betty Crocker because I know it's like a commercial thing, but whatever. Um, that's who I, so I got, I, I printed this out. It tells me what to do. And uh, I tore off the Betty Crocker part so you can't see that. I don't know if that's right or not. But anyway, so that's what I did. Uh, I think I'm going to start at the beginning. How's that sound? I think to do so, I'm probably going to sit down because maybe you can see better. But uh, that's, uh, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. Well, here's where we get started. Uh, we got the double crust pastry part. That's first, and then the filling is second. So the first thing we got to do is, in a medium bowl, I got a bowl here, mix two cups of flour and a teaspoon of salt. So I got some flour there. Um, I'll be up and down, I'm sure, doing my stuff here, but you know, let's see what we got. I got flour, I got one, I got uh, two cups of flour. Okay, done. Um, Let's see what we got now. Oh, uh, a teaspoon of salt. And uh, there's a teaspoon here someplace. Um, okay, yeah, there it is. Teaspoon of salt, and that goes in. All right. Okay, let's see what we got. Yeah, okay, well, it, I guess I'm gonna stir that up. Just because, you know, it might be good, right? So, the next part is the, the butter part. Um, it says <laughs> two-thirds of a cup of shortening. I am not going to use shortening because I don't even know what shortening is. I think it's, I think it's that bad, evil trans fats. But we got butter, and I've, I've seen on in the news lately, butter is back. So I don't know how much butter makes a two-thirds of a cup plus two tablespoons of butter. That's so stupid. I mean, this is, I think this is a two-thirds cup measure. Well, that's a three-quarters cup measure. So does that look about like, or let's see, what if I, what if I cut it in half uh, and then stuffed it in here? That nah, didn't work. Uh, well, I, I think that might be almost right. And then I think it needs a little bit more because it says, you know, plus two tablespoons. So, um, let's see, I got, that looks like about two tablespoons. So I, I hope that's about right. And if it's not, well, that's why we do stuff. You know, we, uh, yeah, it's why I research. <laughs> if you do it wrong, you gotta do it again. Okay, now they, there's some deal about sprinkle with cold water. So I don't have cold water, but I got some water with ice cubes in it. So uh, Domodisco, Nabisco, you know, something like that. Okay. And then, oh, a tablespoon at a time. Well, let's see. Here's a tablespoon. That's it. Okay. Good enough. Um, oh, uh, you, that's okay. I knew they, they told me I needed two knives. So I got one knife and another knife. Here. Okay. Uh, something to do with like, uh, it's kind of like cross your fingers and, and cut the, 
cut the butter. Cut, cut the butter? I don't know how that works. Okay, so cut the butter, cut, 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 you know, you know what my dad used to say, cut, 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 cut. Okay, so, um, let's see, butter, cutting, cutting, uh, this doesn't look like it's, well, it's kind of working. I mean, I see butter in there somewhere. Here's in some more, yeah? Okay, hey, all right, get in there, buddy. Come on, let's. I don't know if I can do this with two hands or what, but I think you get the idea of what's going on. So, uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I, you know, I can go to town on this deal. Okay. Oh, maybe I need some more of that, that uh, ice water. And some more ice water. Okay. Okay, more ice water. More ice water. Get get it cold. Make it, make sure it's cold. That's what they say. Uh, you know, I got quite a bit of. I got a, well, no, maybe it's gonna work. I think I need more butter, actually. Uh, well, I'm just anyway. So let's see what we got. Yeah, that's that's working. That's working. Ah. Uh, I don't think you can have, well, you know what they say. You can't have too much garlic or too much butter in your food, right? So that's what I think. I've heard that. I don't know if that's true. But I think we're going to get down to getting into the butter here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, look at that. It's got like chunks and stuff. I don't know if you can see it, but if you could, you could you know, just imagine what this would be like. If you had a bunch of chunky stuff in the butter and the, yeah, this actually, yeah, this has got to be, this, I think this is working. Yeah, I think this is working really well. So I still see some butter, but I kind of see big chunks too. And I like that idea. I like chunks. I mean, when's the last time you, you had enough butter, you know, maybe on a baked potato or you know, on your cereal. Well, I mean, like oatmeal or something, you know, hot cereal. You wouldn't put butter on cold cereal. That'd be dumb, I think. Look, I got a butter. Okay. Okay, sprinkle with cold water. I already did that. I could do it again. Maybe it just needs a little more. Yeah, okay. That's enough. Um, one and Pastry, tossing with a fork. Okay, well, I I have a fork someplace. I'm gonna find a fork. Let's see what I got. Okay, I think I think I put a fork over here. Yeah, I got a fork. Got a fork. Okay, so we're gonna toss this until it gets nice and goody, really fantastic. Oh, look at that. <laughs> this is working. Hey, I. You know, I'm not saying I'm going to be successful here, but I might, I might actually make a pie. Yeah, this is the, this is the crust. So, you know, what's the worst that would happen? I don't know. <laughs> we'll find out, I guess. Okay, so I, you know, yeah, look at that. I, I can clean the side of the bowl, and I can. Boy, I didn't know this was that easy. I'd probably been baking the years ago if I knew this was as much of a cinch. Yeah, okay, get over there. Get, come on, come on. Come on get. Uh, how do you. This is like trying to get kids to clean their room or something. <laughs> it's just not that easy. Yeah, pick up your toys. Come on, go for it. No, no, no sorry. Dad, I gotta work on my iPad some more or whatever it is. So, well, I guess we didn't have iPads when I had kids, but the yeah, grandkids. So, well, that's a different story, isn't it? Okay, I think that's good enough for that. <sighs> Gather the pastry into a ball. Okay, all right, well, that's why we have hands, right? Okay, uh, gather the pastry into a ball. Okay, yeah, kind of like, well, that'd be a big ball, wouldn't it? If I, I don't like, I can't get it all together. It doesn't stick together at all. 
Uh, I don't think I better put more butter in. I think it's got enough butter. I don't know. Maybe I need some more of this sprinkly stuff in there. Yeah, I get, yeah. Oh, that, yeah, maybe. Maybe. No, just hang on. Hang in there. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, I, th I think that's what it was. I think we needed a little more, a little more of that uh, cold water. Uh, yeah, now it's starting to stick together a little bit. <laughs> it's starting to stick to my fingers too. Oh, that's that's all right. That's all right. I can wash them later. Okay, so we got um, ah, gather pastry into a ball, divide in half. Okay, I think I think I gotta gotta get myself figured out here how I'm gonna do this. Okay, butter. I got an extra butter put over there. I don't need that for now. Uh, yeah, well that okay. So okay, so I guess I can look at that in a minute. Um, so there's a thing. Let's see what happens. Okay, yeah, that that kind of worked. Yeah, so uh, it's not exactly a ball yet, but maybe I can make it a ball here. Now you can see. Okay. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's coming together. <laughs> sort of. Uh, wow. How is that? Well, there. here's my ball. Sort of. Yeah. Well, would you know? It happens to Betsy. Yep, you got, you got a ball here. Get some extra crumbs. I, I don't know what we're going to do with those, but uh, that's not much of a ball. Uh, okay, more water, more water. Yep, okay, more water, more of that stuff. Okay, all right. So, uh, I don't know if this is how Grandma Thunstead started, you know. Back a long time ago, they lived in this little town called uh, Kerkoven in Minnesota, and they had a restaurant there, I think, or maybe they didn't, I don't know. But uh, there was a story that uh, Grandma told about how one day there was this cyclone came to town. I guess today we call it a tornado, but they called it a cyclone back then. And uh, it, they didn't have any warning signal or anything. They just all of a sudden this wind started howling and blowing and they were in the restaurant and they tripped over each other to get down in the basement, you know, and down there. And anyhow, uh, they got out of it with their lives, but they decided after that to uh, get out of the restaurant business. And they got back into it later, but that's another story. Okay, so I've got my ball, sort of. It's, yeah, it's kind of like a ball. It's kind of round. Okay, I don't know what to do with it, though. What do we got? Uh... Blah, 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 blah. Divide in half, shape into two flattened rounds on a, f a lightly floured surface. Well, that's okay. All right, so uh, half be like half, right? There we go. So I got this half. All right, that's a better ball. I think that one kind of works, okay? And then this is the other half here. And that one, that kind of sucks, but. Um, I don't know if I can say that or not, but I think, yeah, it's not real good anyway. So, but nobody will care after it bakes. And I think if you put enough sugar on something, it just, it's great anyhow, right? That's the whole deal. So I got a ball here and a ball here. Uh, then I'm supposed to put it on a lightly floured surface, which I think would be the thing underneath here, if I could ever get to it. Uh, let's see, I might not need this. So I'm going to put it on down here. Yeah out of the way and get my knives out of the way and get the uh, these guys here let's see all right then uh, that's not a good enough surface so oh boy uh, I got some paper towels here and I'm gonna I'm gonna grab one of those I think this is like my big game plan was to uh, have, help myself if I get into trouble having a 
get enough paper towels, you could probably clean up almost anything, I think, yeah? So, okay. Um, so that, a lightly flowered surface, so that would be like some more flower, right? Um, is that, is that lightly? Or, yeah, that's kind of light. I think that, that works. Okay. All right, so what do we do? We, uh, shape into two flattened rounds. Okay, so that's a, that's a, a ball, sort of. And then we kind of squish it, right? Yeah, yeah. Two, two flattened rounds. Okay. And, uh, do that some more. Okay. All right. I don't, I don't know how flat they're supposed to be, but I think that's kind of flat, sort of flat, I think. All right. Okay. Then what do I do with that? They, uh, oh, wrap in plastic wrap, refrigerate for 45 minutes. Okay. Uh, plastic wrap. I got some here, but it's kind of like the old leftover last old uh, thing. Let's see if I can get it. So, hold your horses. It's not that, it doesn't take that long. I mean, come, you know, give me a break. <laughs> so, I can't get it started. There it goes. There we go. Okay. All right. Now, I have got my thing, and I guess I gotta get my knife, my cutter here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Cool. Hey, cool. Look at that. Um, let's see if I can pick it up. Yay! I picked it up. And uh, it's, well, it, it, yeah. I didn't wrap it entirely, but it's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll just do that for now. Uh, more lightly flowering, and the other one, and we'll squish it down. Yep. Yeah. 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 This, this stuff's coming together. I, I can see it now. I think I'm going to have myself a pie. And uh, it may not be as good as Grandma Thunstead used to make, but you know what? Got to start someplace, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's kind of like flat and round. Yeah. Need some more of this. Maybe I'll make a bigger piece this time. Like double, like, yeah, like way out there. Okay. All right. So, da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 -da. there we go. All right. Now, if you can hear some noise in the background, I've got, uh, you know, the refrigerators so uh, being cool and all that. So, okay. Uh, kind of like that, I think. So, I got these two pieces. And I'm going to set them in the refrigerator, and um, they can chill. Yeah. Okay. All right. So that's that. I think is the first part. Let's see what we got. Refrigerate 45 minutes. Okay. So that's going to be uh, Alexis. Set a timer for 45 minutes, would you please? Uh, come on, Alexa, wake up. Alexa, set a timer for 45 minutes. 45 minutes, starting now. I, I hate to raise my voice, but, you know, sometimes she just doesn't do what I want, you know, and uh, I, I got to do better than that, so I hope. Not. Okay, what do we got? We got, uh, it's in the refrigerator. It's going to get cold and firm and yet pliable, blah, blah, blah. This allows the... Anyway, okay. Heat the oven to 425 degrees. That's probably going to, like, turn off the fire alarms or turn on the fire alarms or something. But, yeah, okay. With a floured rolling pin, roll one pastry round into... Oh, I see. So this is after the 45-minute... Uh... Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, think about... I bet you I could, I could do the apples because that'll take a while. So... Here's what I'm going to do. I'll come right back with a freshly washed bowl and we'll make some apples. Okay. Well, now I've got my apples. Uh, I need eight apples. I got uh, six here in this bag. I got at the store this afternoon. And I got two more in this bag. And I got an onion with that. <laughs> now, why did they put an onion with uh, two apples? Uh, I guess because that's all they had. Of course, you know, I'm an old guy. And now... Sometimes old people 
cut corners. I don't mean cut corners in the wrong way. I mean, they just like make it a little less expensive to live because they know that the apples, one apple is probably about as good as another apple. And um, if you buy the apple at the grocery store, if you get their, you know, they're marked down, then you get a better deal. So I'm going to open up these bags. Uh, the onion, I am not going to, I don't think use on this recipe. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, but the apples I'm going to use. Now, uh, these apples, um, they're different colors, you know. Uh, got some over here, too. And uh, we got, like, red ones, and kind of looks green. And this one looks kind of yellow-green. Um, let's see. This one is a, a gala apple, you know. And... Um, so I guess it's some big, big party apple. Now, I don't want to have the little sticky things. So I'll stick, well, anyway, somewhere. Um, and I got to look at my notes here and, and tell me what to do. Um, let's see, yeah, okay. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, eight cups, eight cups. I thought it was eight apples, but anyway. Eight cups thinly sliced peeled tart apples. Hmm. I don't know what tart apples is, but anyway, we'll we'll find out. It uh... okay? We got. I, I'm just peeling off. I I am sure that nobody wants to eat this paper sticky business, you know. And uh, I want to get a thing and. Um, we got that, okay. Got that. That is a golden something apple. But how come I can't peel a stupid sticker off? How do they expect to eat an apple with stickers on anyway? It's like, I think I got them all. Oh, another one. Okay. Now, I think I read it said sliced peeled apples, thinly sliced. Well, anyway, so that's the bowl. Um, I guess I'm gonna put the apples on this slicing board here. And then, how many I got? I got, I got four, th four, eight, I got eight, okay. So now I got uh, a big old knife, all right, big old knife. Be careful, you know. Do not try this at home, all right? So we're gonna cut it in half, and cut that in half, and cut that in half, and then I got this tiny little knife. Uh, I think it's called a paring knife. I don't know. Anyway, good enough. Um, okay, slice, slice, slice. It says peeled. Okay, so, so my wife gave me this thing. So what am I gonna, you know. I don't think that works all that well. I, I am, I am not, I, I do not think I need to peel the apples. Okay, just so, just saying. Uh, okay, get back to this. I know we don't want seeds. I know that for sure. So, and uh, let's see. Mind your fingers. Okay, done, 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 done. Um, and stems do not, I'm sure, do not taste good in apple pie. So I guess I'll just leave those there and, okay, and good enough. And one more. Okay. Um, get over there. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we got... Uh, I don't think Anthony de Bourdain started this way. I don't know. Maybe he did. You know, could have been. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, apple. Slice. 
I think it's safer if you do that in it. So let's see what I gotta do. I gotta cut this off. Get rid of that. Uh, okay. Hang on. It can't be that bad, right? No. Yeah. Okay. Now uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna whack those up uh, in a minute here. You gotta get the the trimming part done, and then there you go. Okay. All right. Um, and 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 and. and I don't know if that's thin or not, but there's slice anyway. That's going to be okay. All right, and and okay, and let's see some more here. Uh, this is a golden kind. Um, yeah. Okay, and I I don't know what kind that is now, but it's a different color, kind of like red and other colors, I guess. Careful. I, I think this is dangerous, maybe. Okay. Yeah, that, that works. Um, ready? Ready go. Okay. And. And. <laughs> Do not cut your fingers. It's not a good plan. I've heard that. Okay. Okay. And one more. One more, and oh, I don't need that. Okay, so we got this one here, 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 here. Okay, and we got that. One, one, two. Buckle my shoe. See, yeah, almost I got almost got cut there. Um, ah, this looks like a a girly apple. Maybe is there such a thing as a girly apple? It might be. I've heard of a pink lady. You know. Maybe they're, uh, yeah, well, okay, nobody, nobody died, that's good. Um, okay, one more, one more, yep, okay, and, do, 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 do. okay, and another, boy, why do people, I mean, if, if I didn't care about my family, I would never spend all this time baking, would I? Well, maybe that's why I never learned to bake, you know, because I do care about my family, but uh, maybe, maybe I should have learned, yeah. Anyway, I, I'm not gonna have any regrets. I, you gotta go with what you got, right? Yesterday is behind us, tomorrow is the only day, well, no, today is the only day we got. We don't even have tomorrow. Nobody guaranteed us that. No siree, Bob. So, okay, we got this. We got this. <laughs> Look at it. Yeah, this is. I think. I mean, I gotta. I gotta try something here in a second. I gotta get. Oh wait, I got. This is called a a brown spot. Okay, so we'll just kind of whack that off here and uh, uh, get that. Okay. Now I am gonna try something. Fancy. Okay, you ready? Okay, here you go. Here you go. Yeah, yeah, hi, 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 hi. <laughs> yeah, that, I, I think that works. I'm not sure that's the right way to do it, but I mean, eventually, who's going to know, you know? Put enough ice water in that, nobody will tell. Or sugar or whatever. Okay, one more uh, big old fat one here. Okay. Da -da -da. I don't like that. It looks kind of kind of ugly. Oh, hi. hey, I could do it this way. Well, sort of like that. All right, and okay, we got this one. Hmm, get on there. Okay. Well, um, yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. I think that kind of works, you know. 
kind of works. Um, I don't know for sure how much I need, but I think I think I'm getting there. Uh, okay, red. Okay, I think we're gonna save that one there, that last one there, just for you know something else in case we need an extra apple or something for whatever. Okay, got that. Okay. Okay, and okay, and and now one thing I think every good baker, cook, whatever does is they they taste the food. And they're eating it. I mean, I have to have a little snack to keep them along, right? Mmm. Mmm. If I didn't have the camera running, I would have just put this piece in. But because I got the camera running, I don't want to gross anybody out. So I'm just going to keep it aside for me later. Um. <laughs> mm. That looks like exactly about eight cups. Doesn't it? Look at that. Eight cups. Oh, or some some number of cups. Okay, I hope that's all I have to do. Oh. Mm. No, I'm not peeling them. Oh, and more more butter. Huh. Oh, good, I still got some butter left. Okay, so what do we got? We got we still have to Hey Alexa, how much time is on that timer? Alexa, how much time is on the timer? You have 28 minutes left on your 45 minute timer. Well, thanks a lot. You know, okay. Anyway. Uh, the, the good thing is that, you know, she she doesn't eat much. So I guess it's okay to have her around. Oh, um, hmm. 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 I just noticed something. It says scrumptious apple pie. I don't know what scrumptious means. It means it tastes pretty darn good. Okay, so we're going to toss these things out in a minute. But I have an idea. You know how it said tart apples? What I'm eating is not tart. It's kind of like sweet. So, I picked a lemon off the lemon tree. When I was a kid, there was this guy named Trini Lopez, and he sang a song. Lemon tree, very pretty, and the lemon flower is sweet, but the fruit of the poor lemon is impossible to eat. Now, this is a Myers lemon, so, you know, he might have been wrong about the impossible part. So I am going to cut it in half, and <laughs> this is my secret ingredient. Oops. <laughs> See? So you just you just take this and you make sour apple or no, sour, tart, tart apples. Tart apples. I hope this is okay. So All right, so we got that and in for a penny, in for a pound, right? Yay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, I think Alexa, how much time is on my timer? You have 26 minutes left on your 45 minute timer. Okay, well, I think I think we're going to Well, here's the deal. I mean, I I could talk to you more, you know. I could tell you more about my life and I think that'd be okay. You know, I, I I've liked taking pictures and now I, when I went to college, I I took biology in college because I liked biology and I and I, I found out something after I graduated. It's called, uh, people often study stuff that they never use in their job, which, you know, more or less was me. So I studied biology, got my degree, and then I went out into the world, and eventually I ended up working in photography, and I really liked photography. I, I was taught by a good friend in high school. He was a little older, and he had been trained in the Navy, and so he helped me figure out how to take pictures, and so I took pictures of various things. Well, eventually I, I 
graduated to you know what we call a large format you know so I actually took eight by ten negatives big great big negatives and then we can make really big pictures from those so that's what I did for my career one of my careers and um, let's see I worked in a bookstore uh, did that I did the photography part uh, I sold uh, herbs um, you know got interested in Chinese medicine and herbs and um, then I I still um, like to learn about science and today I I listen to a lot, a lot of podcasts about science I tell you there's some really cool stuff out there and I, you you got what you have in this world today you have people getting cameras and microphones in front of people who are brilliant and often often have just wonderful stories to tell about what they're researching now I'm really interested in getting old Grandma Thunstead, remember her? <laughs> she was the people, she was the lady in, in my family who really knew how to bake and cook and do all that stuff. She lived to be 101 years old. She she lived by herself until she was in her 90s. In fact, she drove a car until she was in her 90s. And my mom is also uh, 90 years old today and still drives, still lives in her own house by herself and does well. And so, you know, that's, I'm I'm motivated. I'm a motivated person to learn how to how to be a better uh, baker? Or, well, <laughs> that should be too hard to learn to be better because I think I need you know a lot of. But um, I want to be as good as Grandma, and I also love to hear these stories about science and especially longevity. I mean, they've got they've all kinds of things going on now. They got sirtuins, and they've got uh, a mechanistic a mechanistic target of, of rapamycin, and they've got. Um, AMPK, different pathways, chemical pathways. It, it, that just sounds like a bunch of gobbledygook. Don't worry, because it's not on the test. In fact, there is no test. <laughs> so, but um, you get guys like uh, uh, Walter Longo, and you got Peter Atia, and, um, uh, Dom uh, D'Agostino in Florida. Um, there's a guy in in Boston. Uh, uh, his name is uh, Tom Seafried. Uh, there's uh, Charles Brenner in Iowa. These are all smart people uh, and researchers, and they do uh, wonderful things and learn, helping us learn how to be, get old more gracefully and live great while we are getting old, you know. Now, I've got a secret to tell you, and I must well tell you right now. I told you about Santa, right? You figured that out. People love it when Santa is fat, right? So three years ago, a little bit more, 39 months, but we'll call it three years. I was 110 pounds bigger than I am now. I had a real a real Santa belly. You know, guys could come up to me and hit me in the belly thinking they're going to get a pillow. No, it was me. And, you know, so I, I started to learn how to, you know, lose some weight. And uh, I basically did uh, what everybody else does. I started going to classes and learned how to do it. Eventually, I, I found a system that worked for me. And it was basically eating plants, you know, mainly because they have, you put a bunch of plants into a bowl and you don't have that many calories. Uh, if you put oil or sugar or, you know, a bunch of dressing on it, whatever, then you get the calories. But otherwise, you know, you can put a bunch of plants in there, vegetables and maybe a little fruit, some uh, potatoes and rice, whatever. And uh, it's just one way, you know, you fill up, you get full, you stop eating, next meal, you eat again. And so you fill up your stomach and you don't get too full by the number of calories. You just get full and you stop eating. So that's how I did. But that's another story. Okay, so I've got one apple left over. I don't think I need it. Um, I've got to wait a little while. So I'm going to turn off the camera for now and I'll get right back to you as soon as we got something to show you. Well, what I've got right now, uh, I've got to put the filling together. So... I read the thing here and it says that I'm supposed to mix the sugar and one, one quarter cup of flour, cinnamon, nutmeg, and an eighth of a teaspoon of salt and then stir in the apples. So that's my filling. So I'm going to do that while I'm waiting for, you know, whatever to get ready. Okay, so I need sugar. Uh, how much do I need? Oh, a third to a half a cup. So here's a cup. And uh, got sugar, 
Yeah, it kind of looks like a half a cup. And let's see. Um, what is it? Oh, we got uh, cinnamon. So I can't remember how much of that. Uh, a half a teaspoon. Okay. Um, let's see. I got I got more of these things. That is. I got one half teaspoon. Well, that's more than a half a teaspoon, but that's okay. It's cinnamon. Everybody likes cinnamon. And we got this here, uh, nutmeg. And how does that work? Do that. I'll do this. Boy, that's, that's a little harder. Nutmeg in. Okay. And then a little bit of salt. Said an eighth of a thing, so a little bit. Okay. And then, what do I do? I mix that together and... So, yeah, I could do that. So, this is it, you know. And I'm going to do this. Mix that together. And then, in go the apples. And then I will mix those with that. So, oh, look at that. Hey, hey, this is working. This is working. This looks like the good stuff. I don't. I just don't know if I've got enough sugar. I'm thinking. I mean, first of all, the sugar is kind of sticking to the bowl. Oh, I forgot the flour. Um, I guess I'm supposed to have a was an eighth of a cup of flour. Let's see. I got quarter cup. Uh, no, sixteen. I think. Well, there, that's some, that's flour. Okay, maybe, maybe that can work. Yeah, look at that, that's kind of, I still think I need more sugar though, you know, because, I mean, the worst would happen, if, if, it, if it isn't sweet enough, people will be un, unhappy. They're gonna have to be, but if it's sweet enough, then they can't complain too much, right? They can't say that I didn't give them their money's worth as far as the sugar. I think that's the secret to most things in life is make stuff sweet enough. And, um, and that, you know, that's the end of it. Okay, so, Alexa, uh, how much time is on my timer? You have 9 minutes and 40 seconds left on your 45-minute timer. Okay, thank you. Oh, I'm being polite to the, what do they call it, a digital assistant? <laughs> You know, it's not it's not wrong to be polite, right? It's always nice to say please and thank you. So, uh, I don't think I've got another long story to tell you, so I'm going to stop and, and we'll start again when we get ready to do the, the thing, to roll out the crust. Well, you can see that I'm getting ready here. I've got my... <laughs> this is not a guy's rolling pin. This is a chick rolling pin. But you know what? It's the one I got, so we're going to use it. And I got a pie pan, right? And I got this this stuff here, which I think uh, I'm supposed to roll out my my thing on. Not sure which is the right side. Oh, yeah, I think I got it upside down. Don't look. There we go. Now it's oh, now it's going to be perfect. Now it's going to be fabulous. Okay, so there's that. There's this here, and then I have to get the oven on. So 425 degrees. Uh, Bob, 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 come on, hurry up, hurry up, get there. I gotta get, there you go, start. Okay, now it could have set off the fire alarm or whatever, you know. Modern houses are protected from all kinds of stuff. And so we are ready. If that happens, what it's gonna do is just make a big beep, you know, crazy, and then, uh, you know, whatever. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll deal with it at the time. So, Alexa, how much time we got the timer at? You have three minutes and 50 seconds left on your 45 minute timer. That girl is getting there, I'll tell you. See you in a couple minutes. Well, here we got, I think it's just about that time. So, I'm going to go to the refrigerator and get the stuff out, and uh, we're going to go go to town and make us a pie crust, upper and lower. Yeah.
Okay. We got our upper and our lower. <laughs> it's kind of like dentures, you know. So, okay, so we got that. Um, I think I'm supposed to have a bunch of flour on this work surface. So, do that, do some more. And then, put that down there. And then, this is uh, the rolling pin, you know. And I'm going to have some more flour on the rolling pin. And I'm supposed to kind of roll this out and make it bigger, or, you know, thinner and bigger. Uh, is that working? Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah, anyway, that's working. I don't know. It's, uh, it's not growing as fast as I thought it would, but, you know, whoops. It's starting to break up here. Um, that's okay. So here's the deal. We got this. This is the pie tin here, and it's supposed to be. Uh, well, this is the bottom, so I got to try to fit the bottom in there and have it come up, you know, the side. So I think I have to go just a little bit more. So we're going to go do some rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. I keep those doggies rolling. Rolling, 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 rawhide. That was a, you know, TV show that I used to watch as a kid. And I, I don't remember much about it except the Cowboys and Indians and I was on the side of the Cowboys. You know, I don't know if that's... That's probably not politically correct to say anymore, is it? <laughs> so, uh, I guess you'll have to... Well, thank you, Alexa. That's so kind of you. Alexa, cancel. Oh, miracle of miracles. Alexa, shut up. What? Alexa, what? Uh, Alexa, cancel. I, I don't know what we're going to do with Alexa. I mean, honest to goodness, she, she just sometimes gets under my skin. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So I've got this here. Uh, that's the... This is, I don't, I don't know how to do this exactly. So, I, let's see, if I got a, a knife, and I kind of went under here, and I got it looser, right? That's the idea. Get looser. Uh, get looser, looser. Loose, loose, loose. Oh, oh, do not cut the, the pie thing here. Okay, so, um, oops, well, I'm, I'm going to see what happens if I can kind of pick this up and do that. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> I, I, I think I made a mistake. I think, I think I was supposed to... <laughs> I was supposed to grease the inside first, I think. Uh, I don't know for sure, but I, I kind of think that's the way it works. Um, let's see. Um, let's see if, if I can figure this out. Do not... If this doesn't work, don't tell anybody, okay? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay. And this side here. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think I covered my um, posterior, if you know what I'm saying. Okay. All right. So there we go. Um, it's not perfect, but, you know, I think what we do is, you know, like this extra part, we just kind of whack off and save for, you know, some part we might need. Um, yeah, that, that kind of works. Okay, now I think, all right, so we got the, we got the thing in, yeah, um, it's supposed to be two inches larger than the upside down pie, whatever. So it's in there. Um, 
Yeah, so we press it against the edges. We did that. Looks good. Um, then we put the filling in, I think. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Spoon into pie pastry line pie plate. Dot with butter. Okay. Let's see. So we got this here. I'm going to put that there. We got this. This is my my secret ingredient. And we're going to spoon this in here. Oh, oh, that's working. Look at that. Look at that. Looks like looks like kind of a carnival in there. Yeah, cool. Uh, come on, fit. Okay. All right. Well, I think that that eight cups of apple deal was probably wishful thinking on their part. I don't know. Oh, I know. If I had peeled them, they'd be tiny then, right? <laughs> so, I think we're getting there. I, I mean, what, do we want to fit a couple more in or something? But I think it's going to be enough. Don't you think? Maybe one more, more piece here. Yeah. Or there. I need one of those paper towel things, don't I? Yeah. Okay, so we have my the bottom part of the pie there, and what do we do next? Um, unfold. No. Blah blah blah. Oh, roll other round of pastry, fold into fourths and cut slits so steam can escape. Unfold the pastry over the top filling. Blah blah blah. Uh. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. Wow, this will be 40 to 50 minutes. Oh, anyway, it'll be great. Okay, so we have that. So I'm going to get this out of the way, little by little. I'm going to put that here. And then I'm going to take, I, I need more flour, I know. More flour in the surface. Maybe more flour. There we go. And then we take this thing and very carefully get it down there. Oh yeah, here's my here's my girly pink rolling pin. I got this extra crust, so I'm gonna add that in. Okay, so let's let's go with a little bit of Rolling, rolling, rolling. Keep those doggies rolling. Rawhide. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, it's getting bigger. That's weird. It's picking up that little bit of dough and just kind of wiggling it around the whole time. I don't know. Mm. Well, that's... <laughs> Obviously stupid. My, I mean, my idea what didn't work that well, but it's dead. Yeah, look at that. So uh, I think we're we're getting there. I think I think if we get any thinner, it ain't gonna work. So they said what to fold it over like this, and then fold it over like this, and then you take the pie, and then you stick this here. And you do that, and then you do that, <laughs> and um, wow! And <laughs> I may have actually a pie. <laughs> it's it's a little weird looking. Uh, I talked about making slits in it, but I I think yeah, I I'm not sure about that. I'm gonna I'm gonna see. You know, I I think we could kind of like do, you know, like seal it up. You know what I mean? Um, 
It doesn't look very good, does it? No, I don't like that. Okay. Um, how about if we kind of like do that? Yeah. That's a secret. That's a secret. Look at that. Uh, oh, man. Oh. <laughs> I am smarty pants. I am I'm getting this. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so a little more. A little more. Yeah. I sure open them my butter in there or sugar. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so then we're supposed to Well, you know, I kinda of remember this it's kind of like a, it's like the desert, you know, or some wadi somewhere in, in out in the boonies. Uh, so we kind of do something at the edge, make it look kind of cool. I'm using my finger and my thumb. Is that called fluting? I think. Okay. And then, and then, and then, and then. Get in there and then I think we got to cut in here because otherwise it's not gonna like let out the, the juicy stuff and you know it'll turn into some explosion somewhere okay the oven told me it's br it's warm enough and uh, let's see Cover edge, oh, okay. All right, so I got instructions. First of all, below everything else goes this guy in the oven. Because everybody's afraid that my pie is gonna go all over the place, which is probably true. Then this part goes in and then this part goes in on top of this part, like that. Yeah, and then this part goes on this top of that so it doesn't burn the edges. So, who, who knew? Oh, and then this guy, this is, this is the, um, well, here's, here's, here's what, when I was a kid and somebody's making pie, what you want to do is you want to go hang out in the kitchen a little bit because there's the pie crust which is left over and uh, they put cinnamon and sugar on it. I put some sugar in it and then cinnamon and uh, too much cinnamon but um, there we go. We're going to bake this separate. I guess I guess we'll put it out here maybe or no. Uh, hmm. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm going to put that in bake after a little bit. I'm going to figure out, but I got to put this in now. So that's that's what's going in. Here it goes. And we got the oven. We got the pie on the rack pushed in far enough closed up and then we're going to have Alexa set a timer for 50 minutes 50 minutes starting now yeah see there we got it okay so um, I think these guys here the extra pieces of pie crust I gotta find a little something to put them on maybe a piece of aluminum foil Okay, so I'm just going to put those in here, but not right away. I got to save them for part way through. And that's uh, that's <laughs> that's as easy it is as to bake pie. Well, if everybody did this, <laughs> we'd have a lot more people spending time in the kitchen, and they wouldn't be doing anything else. <laughs> okay, 
So uh, let's look forward to the pie coming out in... Hey, Alexa, how much time is on the timer? You have 48 minutes left on your 50-minute timer. Oh, it's going to be a sweet pie in 48 minutes. Well, welcome back. There's no pie yet, but we're getting there. But I just wanted to introduce my mom. And uh, mom, there's the camera over there. You know that. And uh, I was telling them about your your mother, Hilda Thunstead, and how she used to bake for the school and cook for the school. Right. And she yeah. was uh, she could make any kind of pie. For some reason, I never <laughs> liked lemon meringue, but um, blueberry, yeah, apple, all kinds. And there's an old saying. I don't know if I've got any cheese, but um, they used to, years ago, you know, you've had pie a la mode, okay? So that's like apple, right? Uh, apple with ice cream. And there was another way, which is an apple pie with a slice of cheddar cheese on it. And they used to have a saying, let me do it. A kiss without a squeeze is like pie without cheese. That was the old saying. Anyway, so that's my mom. She's 90 years young, <laughs> and, and uh, she's still still getting around the world. Uh, she came out from Minnesota to visit me in California. Uh, she's got other other uh, plans for the year to travel, and uh, and she's busy with her life and in our family, and it's wonderful. And we just had a another uh, great-grandson joined the family from Norway, except not really from Norway, but from Ohio. And his name is Jan Michael. And uh, so he was born a few days ago. And so we're kind of excited about that. Well, we're still waiting for Alexa to tell us that the pie is done. I did take those little scraps of uh, pie crust and I put them in the oven a few minutes ago. So we'll have those as a uh, something to hold us over if we can't, you know, wait long enough. But I just... Just wanted to uh, express my appreciation to this lady because she has is the one that really taught me how to do a lot of things in life. You know, from walking to talking to my English, you know, <laughs> correcting me. So when I spoke, I would be, you know, appropriate. And uh, she is to help 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 me get through the school year. Uh, I I never really liked going to school because it was boring. <laughs> so. Uh, sometimes she would cut me a little slack. Maybe I'd stay home from school, uh, sick, you know, but uh, she knew I just needed time. So that, that being said, uh, she is my dear treasure in life. And, uh, I just want to tell you, mom, I love you and you, you've done well for me. So we're, we've got our, our pie plates. We've got a little mm -hmm. trivet to put the hot pie on. I've got a knife. I've got a pie server thing. And uh, hopefully, when it comes out of the oven, it'll still be okay. I don't think I put anything dangerous in there, so I do have my secret ingredient, as you as you saw, and I have not told everyone exactly what that is yet. But just in case you're wondering, they were Myers lemons. Now we have two Myers lemons trees, two Myers lemon trees, and they make the best lemon. Ah, oh, it's just a delicious. Not really a sweet lemon, but it's uh, if you, I mean, lemons aren't sweet, but if you were making a sweet lemon, it would be a Myers lemon. Just saying. Okay, so Alexa, how much time is on my timer? Alexa, are you there? Alexa? Yes, I'm here. Yeah. I listen once I hear the wake word. Okay, Alexa, how much time is on my timer? You have nine minutes. Left on your 50 minute timer. Okay, well, anyway, so that, that's uh, <laughs> that's more than we're going to fill with a bunch of palaver talking, you know, but um, I just, uh, I just want to say that my love of people came from this woman here, and uh, she invited people into our home when I was a teenager from foreign places far away, and uh, I got to meet people that uh, but I never met otherwise, and then we went on a trip when I was 15 years old, we went on a, a big adventure. My parents had taken a trip the year before, and they had flown from Minnesota, where I grew up, all the way down to Acapulco, Mexico. Well, Acapulco, Mexico, in those days, you know, much safer than it is today. And um, you could go there if you had a lot of money. You could go there if you didn't have very much money. You could still go there. What we did as a family, 
my parents decided they they thought Mexico was that interesting so we should all go the next summer so the summer of my 15th year we boarded a bus in Rochester Minnesota and we drove for 67 hours to Mexico City of course we changed buses and drivers and stuff and we got in there and it was uh, it was quite an adventure to say the least uh, you know I I think I had been out of uh, Minnesota maybe two times I'd gone to to Chicago once and I uh, we lived uh, in South Dakota briefly when I was a baby uh, so for me to go to Mexico City and that was in 1967 or 66 somewhere in there uh, amazing place at the time for a young man like me and then after we were there we we uh, took another bus down to Acapulco and so we got a chance to see that place and and figure out that kind of part of the world and I still remember the the one lady that we met down there and her address was Coahuila 33 Bay <laughs> so um, I've forgotten her name but her brother was Jose I think and um, the guy that played guitar on the beach yes yeah mm -hmm. so um, anyway and I, I had learned Spanish in grade school believe it or not in Minnesota they they had a, a fellow named Don Miguel who uh, was teaching the elementary school kids how to speak Spanish in on a television set now this is this doesn't sound too remarkable today but in in you know 19 whatever it was in the in the 1960s let's say uh, to uh, actually in the late 1950s to have someone come on television in a classroom and speak to the class and then we would respond of course the fellow on the television couldn't hear us but we didn't know that and so he would he would say to me now it, I should explain also in in that part of my life uh, let's see uh, 10 10 years old fourth grade so I would have been 1961 we'll call it and there were four people with the name Richard in the class it was a very popular name and so because there was only one Ricardo in the Spanish you know curriculum I was then renamed Carlos so if you'd say Carlos uh, levantate and I would say and I would stand up and say me levanto <laughs> and he'd say Carlos siéntate and I'd say me siento and I would sit down anyway that was the way it went so when I went to, to Mexico I mean I actually could say a few words and I you know got along okay and I I probably learned more from my friends there as well so but um, it was a it was a great adventure, and my my sister went, my one of my older brothers and myself and my mom and dad, and uh, it was just uh, it was really an eye opening experience, and uh, I suppose this will be another eye opening experience, baking a pie for, for I guess the very first time. I don't think I've ever baked a pie before. Um, I have baked uh, well, I guess remember the other day. I baked something. What What did you think of what I baked the other day? First of all, tell the people what I baked because they don't know. Uh, well, he made some bread and I cut into it and I said, oh, so, uh, you know what? I think you should have added a wee bit more flour. It's a little doughy on the one side. <laughs> and, uh, and we took a, and did a second batch and I had him keep adding the flour. But you know, <laughs> It turned out the same way. It was a little doughy. And I said, I don't know how it could have happened it's the second time. And then Rick confessed. I, 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 put, I put something in it, a, a secret sec ingredient. It wasn't really a secret ingredient, but I had, I had tried to do bagels one time. And when you do bagels, you're, you're supposed to add this stuff called um, malted barley or barley malt or whatever it's called because it, it somehow makes the doughy part inside. A bagel is supposed to be crunchy on the outside and doughy on the inside, right? Soft and in, in the inside. And so I thought, well, if I put some in the bread, it'll be better. Yeah, it wasn't such a good idea. Anyway, um, and I do, I, I have made a banana bread. Uh, Which is very, very delicious. Well, it's at least edible. <laughs> so, That's right. Yeah, um, and, uh, but anyway, so, I, I've still got a long ways to go on on making. We were using uh, the flour that we use today, and we also added some rye flour. And and my grandma Thunstead was the one that made the Swedish rye. Now she was 
She was German background, but her husband, uh, Elmer Nelson, was a Swede uh, background, his, his, his ancestry. So um, there were all kinds of uh, little things that she did to uh, mm -hmm. make life better for all of us. So anytime right. we got together for a big holiday, we got grandma's bread, and uh, I guess she just called it rye bread, but I'd call it a Swedish rye. And uh, now she also did some other cool things. Um, she used to go out to Glacier Park. Now, this is Grandma Thunstead now. And at eight, I think even in, in her 70s. 75. She, seven, yeah. She'd go out to Glacier Park, take the train from Minnesota out there. Her husband had worked on the Great Northern Railroad. And so she could arrange a train pass. She always had to, you know, write in ahead of time. But she could ride from where she lived in Waite Park out to uh, Glacier Park. And then she would go to work there in the summer. And she would cook. Uh, in you know for the staff, uh, for the for the help, and then uh, on her time off you know, she'd go out in the mountains hiking, and I still remember the story about um, there was one night that uh, she and another lady had gone out to some long far away hike and uh, she had, they didn't get back when they were expected so. Anyway. Yes, and it got dark and of course they couldn't find their pathway down again. So there they were on the mountain, cold, and they wondered whether anyone would ever realize where they were. But late, late, or early morning, there was a rescue team, and they came and rescued them and brought them back. And they said, Hilda, never, never do this ever again. <laughs> so you get the idea. Uh, that's the kind of adventure she was. Um, that was my grandma Thunstead, and uh, uh, she went uh, went home to be with the Lord uh, at age one hundred and one, I believe it was, and so yes. mm -hmm. uh, quite quite uh, an adventurous lady and very simple person in some ways, but um, uh, she she served people and loved to cook and bake. I just wish I had her skills. <laughs> ability. Maybe, you know, I'm not I'm not a hundred yet, so maybe I've got time to learn. Who knows? Okay. Now let's see what other what other story can we tell about her? Uh, at age seventy five, I remember one time I was back in Minnesota at Christmas time and she was out in the backyard sledding with the little kids. And um, that was pretty fun. Age seventy five on a toboggan or sled or whatever you're doing. Um, anyway she uh, she took a trip to the cities. Uh, we say the cities. When you live in Minnesota, the cities is Minneapolis and St. Paul. Sometimes people call it the Twin Cities out, you know, if you don't live there. But if you live there, you just say the cities. So she was on her way down to the cities. It was in the winter in her car. And um, she ended up having a little spun out spin or out. something yeah. like that. So after that, <laughs> it was decided that maybe it was time for her to stop driving. Anyway. But my mom still drives, and she, uh, of course, is careful. And um, she got one of those cars that uh, has a pretty pretty secure footprint as it drives along in the snow. And if she has to go out in the winter, she can. And so she's safe. I think we're getting close. Alexa, how much time is on her timer? You have 10 seconds left on your 50-minute timer. Boy, that's calling it close. i got to get up and get the pie out. Well, oh. yeah, that's not so good. Oh. Okay. Let's see. Alexa, cancel. I don't have to listen to her for another few weeks. Uh, okay, oh. now I've got the pie Our crust. Pie crust. Oh, uh, no. I don't know if you can see this or not, it but... It uh, burned up. Well, I mean, you say it burned up, but, you know, it might taste great, or it might not. I don't know. Yeah, be careful. Oh, it's, it's probably hot. a little hot. Yeah. So, oh, oh well, <laughs> uh, that, that was... I, I did that on purpose. <laughs> I don't think I did it on purpose. I think I, I, I am eager to find out how it, how it turned out, so let's see if I can... I hope I don't burn myself too bad. I think it's, I think I gotta wait. Okay, so 
if I don't want to be graded uh, on my pie crust exactly, but I'm I'm going to share some with you. Oh. But it's too hot to eat, so yeah. So we got to think of something else to talk about for a few minutes. So the um, some of the other places my mom has taken trips to in her uh, youthful years, uh, she has gone. First of all, one of my brothers. I have two older brothers, and one of them was a, a language scholar and ended up. He was in school in Jerusalem for 14 years. He was over there working on his PhD in uh, Semitic languages, you know, the languages of the Bible and uh, that region. And so she went there. How many times did you go to Israel? Uh, I went five times <laughs> and two times to, uh, to Egypt and saw the pyramids. And the first time I went, this was way back yeah. in the old days without the freeways. And so it was so interesting. Even Jerusalem was a very interesting. We took city buses uh, here and there to the old city. And yet today there's freeways all over. And you never, never know. It was the same city that I visited yeah. many years ago. Right. So um, in addition to that, she has been to... There's a there's another country that's neighbors. Oh, is, Jordan. Is Jordan! I have been in Jordan a couple of times right. teaching English second language, and right. what a delight that city of Jordan or the the country, country. of Jordan. Right, right. And then she also has spent a couple of visits uh, to Armenia. Yes. Yeah. yeah. She, she and her husband uh, Bob, uh, who um, was good at electricity, and he. He and, and, and Lila went to uh, Armenia, to Yerevan, to work to rehab a, uh, a build house. Build houses. Yeah, build houses. No. Right. So uh, I didn't go, so she knows what happened. Yeah. So what did you do when you went there? Well, I, I was one of the cooks. Uh, <laughs> in fact, I was designated to make lunch. And uh, lunch was whatever I could find in the cupboards of leftover in the refrigerator. And I could mix them all together. And we had plenty of cheese and bread. And we had the most delicious, delicious jam with apricots, fresh apricots on the trees at that time. And so the young men would fill their plates and then they would keep on eating the bread with the apricot jam until the jar was empty. <laughs> but it was a delightful time yep. to serve. And uh, anyway, and I think they spent another season in, in England, yes. uh, also working on rehabilitating some uh, some buildings for people to use that needed to come and sh stay for a short period of time, if I remember right. Right, yeah. That's well, right. Well, okay, now I'm wondering, are we getting a little closer to trying the... the well, take a little taste. I'm afraid it doesn't look too good, but I want to taste yeah. it before I... Well, you know, if it wasn't so burnt... It would be quite tasty because it's very, very rich and, mm. but it really doesn't taste very good. So I, I, I think yeah. we'll pass on this. Yeah, because I, I think we that might be. Um, yeah. And yeah. we don't need to oh, eat boy. the crust. We'll just That's toss really it away. That's really bad. Pretty bad. Okay. It'll be for the birds tomorrow. Yeah. They can come and feast. I don't know if the birds will want that or not, oh. but they might. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think you're supposed to let pies cool, but um, what do you think? Well, I think we could cut into it. Okay. And, and we'll it give, it be, a, uh, give it a taste test here. Yeah. So, okay. And. And, let's see. Cut around there a little bit. Now, oh. this is the plating, right? So let's see if okay. I can if I can I, get this. Well, no, I don't. You're not supposed to tell me how to do this because okay. I'm sure you know, and I'm not oh. sure I do. Oh. Wow. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually surprised. It doesn't uh, look that it bad. Held together. Yeah. Wow. It, nothing. Nothing terrible happened. Uh, uh, what is this pink stuff here? What do you mean? What's the pink stuff? What do you well, What do you think it is? Apple. Oh. I have never seen an apple pie with peelings. 
Well, do you think I was going to appeal to oh, apples? Well, I mean, come on, give me a break. That's like that's oh. extra work. I mean, it's a lot of work. If if you were going to peel mm. peel well, apples, what do you think? Uh, well, it has a nice sharp taste. Yeah. But you know, you have to chew several times to get the peeling oh. in, the, in there. So not so good. Mm. Well, I'm not going to ask you to give me a letter grade on it, but. Um, so, can you compare it to any other pie you've ever had? Well, you know, it looks like it's fabulous. <laughs> yeah. But, when yeah. you cut into it, yeah. then, you know, there, oh, see, it hit the peeling. No. Oh. And you have to really work on getting it cut. So you, okay. So, the next time you make a pie, you're supposed to take the peeling off. Well, and that way it's very soft and gentle on the, on the taste. I see. Mm. Huh. Well, you know, it is it is what it mm. is, I guess. Uh, mm. it's, I, I gotta check and see if mm. there's anything else I'm supposed to ask. You must have used very, very tart apples. Well, yeah, they, they were the, they were marked, uh, they were in the bag called tart apples. Oh, and see? So, there's yeah. another piece of apple with the peeling. Oh so, my. Uh, you're not so happy with it. I would say that the pie would be much, much improved yeah. if you had the peeling off. So you didn't like that? that okay. All right, well, let's see. Um, well, so what does it taste like? Uh, these are the official questions. What does it taste it like? Ta it tastes like apple. Okay, well, at least that's, it's apple. Yeah. And uh, what would you compare this taste to? Well, you know, if I had a piece of cheese with it, it <laughs> would just be, make everything kind of mellow. It would mellow it out. I should have bought cheese today. I you can didn't tell it. Buy, no, I didn't buy any cheese. cheese I, I with apple no, pie. I didn't have any. Okay. So well. if the apple pie isn't quite tasty enough, it. The cheese kind of compensates. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah. well, it so that's a, that will be a suggestion for the future. Mm. Now, what was the last thing I cooked for you before this? Mm. Remember? Oh, you cooked oatmeal. Yeah, but this morning I, I had a different, I, I cooked something else this morning. What was it? Um. It's white and it comes in little tiny pieces. And you put it in a bowl and oh, you eat it with a spoon. Oh, <laughs> he made some special rice and he called it, that's the way the Chinese cook rice. And it's like a pudding, a watery, oh, no, he said it's going to look like a watery rice. Yeah. Well, I tell you, it had so much starch in it that it, it wasn't watery whatsoever. It was kind of starchy and different yeah. and I have never had that kind of rice ever before in my life. Well that's that's what happens when you live in Los Angeles. You you uh, encounter different things and there's yeah. there's a oh. I guess it's considered comfort food but the Chinese it, they, it's, the English name oh. I think is porridge but I think they actually call it kanji or somebody calls it kanji anyway but that's that's the last thing I made oh. for her. I used, I cheated, I used a rice cooker. And so you just pour it in, pour in the water to the line and you turn it on and go to go to bed and it's ready yeah. the next morning. So, wow. okay, now, um, that was the last time I cooked for you. And then, well, uh, I have to say, as far as my experience as a baker, that really the worst thing I ever baked was bread. I I saw, you, you, you watch a video, right? You go online, you watch a video. And there's these people and they they make these things and they pop it out of the oven and they slice it and they, they you know, it's always the most wonderful thing they've ever had, right? Not until I start making it, then it's not. <clears throat> these people, you know, when I first tried, I wanted to make bread. And I was afraid I wouldn't know how to knead the bread. You know, that's where you push on it and stretch it and wiggle it and do whatever you do to it. Well, let me get a cup of coffee here. 
with with that, there was something called a no need bread. You know, N O K N E A D, no need bread. And there I was making this no need bread. And I'd, you know, measure out the flour and measure out the water and the, whatever you put in it, um, yeast or whatever it is, and stick it in the refrigerator. And then I'd take some out and whatever, you're supposed to be ready to bake in five minutes. I don't know. Um, all I can say is my bread turned out to be about this high, you know, about this high, and kind of like a... A flatbread. Well, it wouldn't be... Unfortunately, it wasn't flat enough to be a flatbread. It was just, duh. You know, it's just like insipid. It was, it was thinner than this pie. Now, it wasn't as bad as these pie crusts. This is, this is the worst baking I've ever done in my life. Was this stuff? But I think that's just because I left it too long. So, uh, my first try, my second try, my third try, my fourth try. Every single time I did the noni bread, it always turned out terrible. And I have to say, pretty disappointing. Um, and even when I started to try to make yeast bread, um, a lot of times it wasn't too good. In fact, it, it looked nice. You could get a nice color. But when you actually got right down to it, it just, it didn't really, it was, it was horrible. It, you know, it, it ended up out in the trash, mostly. Well, I think I'm almost there. Well, so the question is, why do I think that I need to be on this show? Here's the thing. I want to live another 32 years at least, and I want to enjoy every single year. And I want to be, in, I want to, I want to be happy. And I want to share with other people the things I've learned. And we all eat, right? So why not have me learn how to bake if I'm going to live this next 32 years? I want to do something well instead of doing something like yucky or meh. That's a new word, meh. You know, they use that these days. So I'm not interested in the meh anymore. I want to do better. And so I think a good reason to put me on the show would be to teach me how to bake. What do you say? <laughs>